Now, when we, when we look at the patient that we are presented with in this situation, uh, we see that the patient has evidence of extrahepatic disease in the form of lymph nodes, a potentially a long nodule on presentation. The presence of extrahepatic disease immediately puts the patient in the Barcelona Clinic liver cancer staging system at a stage of C. If the, if similarly, if the patient had portal venous invasion, macrovascular invasion in the liver, that would put the patient in BCLC stage C. If the patient had liver limited disease only, without extrahepatic metastases, without portal vein invasion, and they had either a single large lesion or multifocal disease in the liver with more than three lesions and the, the lesion being more than three centimeters, that also puts them in BCLC stage B. So these are the two scenarios where medical oncologists uh, get involved the most is BCLC stages B and C. Naturally, the prognosis is poorer with BCLC stage C compared to B. And then again, in this case, uh, given the patient actually, the, the imaging criteria met the criteria for diagnosis of HCC, but nonetheless, the patient ended up having a biopsy. As far as risk factors for this patient and others, so the presence of viral hepatitis, uh, the, the uh, history of alcohol use uh, and dependence are the most common risk factors for liver cirrhosis and again for HCC. But more and more we are seeing in a, a rise in the incidence of HCC that's driven by non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. Uh, so this is linked to metabolic syndrome, obesity and diabetes as well. And again, this is becoming a, a more common and, and a rising uh, ideology for hepatocellular carcinoma that one needs to keep in mind. In the case of the patient that we are discussing, he both had hepatitis B that he's on treatment for, but also has a history of taking two to three alcoholic drinks per day. And we know that patients who have three, who consume three or more alcoholic drinks per day already put themselves as, as at the risk of chronic alcoholic liver disease. So this patient may have actually two ideologies for his HCC and for his cirrhosis as well. It is critically important to realize that HCC is best treated in a multidisciplinary setting. This is a disease, again, that involves patients having underlying liver disease, potentially viral hepatitis, liver cirrhosis, as well as concomitant potentially substance abuse challenges, the treatment uh, that are available uh, are quite broad in range and include surgical modalities, uh, liver-directed modalities, as well as systemic treatment modalities. So it is critically important that such patients are discussed in a multidisciplinary setting to determine a, a treatment approach that's strategic based on all the information available and all, the, and, and all the treatment options available to the patient. If you are not practicing in a setting where you have multidisciplinary care, it would be important to do this in a different way. Maybe partner with a neighboring academic center where the patient could be presented at a tumor board and maybe a recommendation can be rendered to you as the treating physician as to the best approach. Uh, but there's more and more data showing that a multidisciplinary approach can lead to better outcomes for these patients and more coordinated care uh, than not. Uh, so again, I, I'd like to emphasize this as an important approach to patients with hepatocellular cancer.